Sandy Charles with FanRag Sports, joined by Texas Rangers prospect Jose Trevino. Jose, I hear you have some stories with Travis Demerit. Yeah. <laughs> he told us to come over here and talk to you. What are these stories we have to know? Um, I got a couple of them, but <laughs> I don't know if you'd want me to share them. I mean, we just have like inside jokes. I'm. Oh, you know what? I got a perfect one. All right. Ooh, I like so that. we're in uh, we're in Lake Elsinore. And at this time, Travis is still with us, and um, yeah, Lake Elsinore, and, he, and Lake Elsinore, it's big, huge field, I mean, there's a scoreboard in left that's huge, and, and like left center is a sign that says like 425. At this point of the season, I'm not hitting too well, Travis is just going off, so hitting, just doing his thing. So I mean, I'm always like cheering on Travis, everybody, like, yeah, yeah, whatever, surely like, everybody will come around, but Travis hits the ball so far and so hard that I stood, I think I stood at the end of the dugout, because Usually I let everybody go in there or I'll stand in the back and I'll just look at him and I'll stare at him and he'll stare at me and we'll just keep looking at each other and then we'll start smiling and laughing. And the only thing I said to him, I, I didn't say like, hey, good hit, nothing. I just said, the ball's hit hard. Ball. The ball's hit hard like that. And that's it. He just starts dying laughing. And then surely enough, like two games later, he gets like a curveball in the ninth and he hits it over the scoreboard in Lake Elsinore. If anybody's ever been to Lake Elsinore, hitting it over the scoreboard is... Unreal. And I, I was on deck. I was hitting behind Travis that day, and uh, he comes and shakes my hand. And I just keep staring at him while he's running. I'm staring and staring and staring. I'm like, balls hit hard. The balls hit hard. He just starts laughing. But I mean, I got stories about the dude for days. I mean, we became really close this year, especially being in high desert this yeah. year. So it was it was tough to see him go. But man, I'm, I'm proud of him for sure. For sure. What's that like after he hits a bomb like that? How do you step up? What's that like doing that? Uh, it's, you just try to get a hit. That's <laughs> all. You can't really try to go that much because he has a lot of juice. Yeah. He likes to call it juice, so we'll say that he has a lot of juice. But, I mean, we'll see what he has today against us. What's it like playing Cal League High Desert? What What are those ballparks like? Great. <laughs> They're great. No, um, no, I, I mean, can was, sense the sarcasm. Yeah, no, yeah, it was, no, it was it's a great experience. Honestly, I mean, it's definitely brings you back down like you're like okay you're not in the big leagues yet kid so like you got to keep working and if you really want to play in the big leagues you got to go through here first so that was that's the way we saw it that's the way our whole team saw it and went out and did what we had to do now speaking of you got to make it through you got to go through the minors make it to the big leagues but first you have to start at draft day yeah. tell me about your draft day uh, I was just hanging out at my mom's restaurant and um, I was getting calls the second day like crazy. I mean, a bunch of teams are just like, hey, we're going to take you. We're going to take him. Like, all right. And so the Rangers call me in the fourth. They're like, hey, we're going to take somebody right here. You're going to be good in the fifth. And I'm at this point, I'm trying to play hard to get. You know, I'm like, no, I'm not going to be there. I, I won't be there. And they're like, all right, we'll call you back. So the fifth comes around. They call me again. I'm like, oh, man, I'm about to be a Texas Ranger. And they go, hey, we're going to take somebody. Can, are you going to be available in the sixth? And I'm like, there's no way I'm available in the sixth. Like, take me now. You know, and then all is done. And then they were like, okay, we'll call you back. And I was like, dude, are you kidding me right now? So then at that point, I'm like, all right, I'm just going to relax. You know, it's going to happen yeah. sooner or later. Just mm -hmm. keep everything under control. And then the sixth round comes around, and I get a call. And it's the Rangers again. And I'm like, oh, they're going to give me this. They're going to give me something I'm not going to be happy about. And sure enough, they come. They're like, hey, are you ready to be a Texas Ranger? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes, I'm ready to be a Texas Ranger. Yes, take yeah. me. So, I mean, sure enough, pops up on the TV, my whole family and everybody's there. And it was awesome. It was, a good, it was good. I mean. I felt like as I got picked, I was like, all right, now it's time to move on. You know, it's just another step in the level. So just keep going and going and going. What is that like having your picture national on a national site, on a national TV station? What's that like seeing that? I thought they could have picked some better pick. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, but it, no, it was awesome. It was cool. I was just like, dang, man, I can't. I mean, Harold Reynolds was there saying yeah. some stuff about me, but I mean, it was it was pretty cool. It was it was a good. It was good to see that. But I mean, I feel like there's something bigger in store for everybody after that. So. Excited to see where this all ends up, and good luck next year. Thank you. For Jose Trevino, Sandy Charles with Banrag Sports.